We learned who the stars will meet in the first round of the playoffs, the defending Stanley Cup champion Las Vegas Golden Knights. Playoff action gets underway at the AAC on Monday. Here's the schedule just released. Games one and two set for Monday and Wednesday here in Dallas. The puck drops at 830 for both of those. The series then shifts to Sin City for games three and four. If necessary, we're back in Dallas for game five on May 1st and game seven on May 1st. Fifth. Joining me to talk all things Stars is Dallas Stars president Brad Alberts. Hey Brad, thanks for being here. Thanks Dia, for having me. Now the Stars are going to open up uh, the playoffs against a team that beat them in the Western Conference Finals yeah. last season. The Vegas also won all three games against the Stars in the regular season. I hate to start this way, but we got to ask, <laughs> are we excited or are we a little nervous right now? No, we're excited. <laughs> I mean, this is how it is. And when you get into the playoffs, you're going to play consistently good teams. We played Vegas three out of you know the last four years or something like that. So we played them a lot. They're clearly good. We have great respect for them. We also like our team. We like where we're at. We've had a great year. And you know, here we go. Here we go again. It's going to be fun. So we were talking before we came out. You're best in the West right now. Yeah. How optimistic are we that they're going to make another deep run in the playoffs? Well, we, we love our team. We're as deep as we've ever been. It's clearly the best team that we've had in this city since the 99 championship team. And 113 points is not easy to do in this league. Uh, and so we're really excited again about where we're at. We love our team. We love the mix of youth and veteran players. Uh, there's guys that are hungry to, you know, to win a cup. So um, we're going to be excited to see. It's fun. How much of an advantage is it to have that home ice, especially to get yeah, things kicked off? Yeah, it's huge. It, it's great for the fans. It's great for the city to have home games. Obviously, in a seven-game series, when you have home ice, you get the game seven at home. And that's clearly an advantage. We had one last year against Seattle, and we won, and it was great. So, yeah, I mean, having game seven at home in any one of these playoff series is awesome. And I think just having the, you know, the, the extra home games at the city is great for economic development here in the city. It's great for the fans as well. For the fans, speaking of them, they're coming out to some of these playoff home games. Yeah. What can they expect? Anything special in store? Well, today we're going to have a big fan fest uh, drive-in you know, party at Gillies from 4 to 7 where you can get your car decorated, flags, meet some alumni. So we're going to get things you know, jazzed up for the weekend today. And then clearly we'll have you know, the PNC Plaza outside the arena will be activated with music and you know, a number of fun activities around these games. And everybody's got to take a nap because they're going to be late. We're going to have the late starts. <laughs> and you can tell we old talking about a nap. You know, yeah. you mentioned the playoffs and just the huge economic impact that they can have, but also philanthropic. Talk about how the playoffs are literally a win for all of North Texas. Well, they are. And, you know, all of our, you know, foundation activities that we do here in the city, you know, this will benefit that. Um, it brings heightened attention and awareness to what we do, not only on the ice, but also off. And so these are great benefits that we take advantage of. What kind of message do you have for all the Stars fans who are watching WFAA Midday right now? Well, let's get out. Let's be loud, support our team, uh, and get ready for two months of great playoff hockey. What would it mean to you to bring another Stanley Cup back to North Texas? More than I can tell you today. Um, <laughs> it's been a dream of ours, you know, and certainly a goal of mine since we came back in 2012 to rebuild this team to get back to this moment. So. We're really, really proud and happy to be here, and let's see what happens. Thank you so much. Proud to have the CEO of the Stars, Brad. We so appreciate that, and go Stars. Let's not forget, we also got to talk about the other sports team in town, the Dallas Mavericks, who are 